Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Who's ready for another grocery haul this week? Today I've got my grocery haul through Woolworths and as you can see, it's just been put here at the doorway. It's just been delivered. And I've noticed on Fridays it always comes late, so it came about too late, two hours late again today. So I think I might have to change the day of the week. But anyway, let's unpack all this and I'll show you what I picked up from Woolworths for our family of four this week. So I finally unstacked it all onto the bench. I've still got things in the fridge and the freezer, but it's getting quite close to school pickup. So I'll have to come back and finish it off. But let's have a look at um, everything I got this week. Once again, expensive haul, like all the shops are, everyone's feeling it. All we can do is our best and shop around and shop when the specials are on and you know, just try and make simple meals. And even those simple meals can be expensive as well. So if you're new here, as I go along, I'll give the Australian prices for each item and also give you the total of the shop at the end of the video. So I've got our normal toilet paper, the 12 rolls. I always get this if I can. Sometimes I buy like the bigger pack of a different brand, but 12 pack this week, $6. Um, it seems to be $6 all the time. It hasn't really gone up yet on me, but you know, it'll happen for sure. And I've also got some pegs, yay, how exciting. But yeah, I really needed pegs. I know I said last time I was only gonna get the Reva ones, but I got the Sabco this time to try because I think they look okay and they're only $3.10 for a 50 pack. So I thought it wasn't that expensive to give them a go. Um, uh, the uh, baby wipes are really cheap this week. Um, if you've got a baby and you use Huggies, they were only like $2.50 a packet for 80 wipes. So I got them because they're so good, but the Aldi ones are a lot like the Huggies I've noticed. So I haven't been to Aldi for a little bit, but I had to get them. They're just easy to have in the car and things. And I needed a can opener. It broke the other day and it's been years since my can opener's broken. So I just got this mint one. Um, oh, look, I thought about an electric one, but we just have mostly um, pull like rings on the cans now. So I just got this one for $6.50. Hopefully it doesn't break. You know, I, sometimes I think that some of the items can't hold up in the dishwasher too, but I did have one and yeah. And the other day when I needed it, of course, it just wouldn't work. And you know, if you really need a can open, opened, what do you do? So I just quickly got one from Woolies anyway, see how it goes. Sometimes I haven't been successful in can openers, but let's see. I've also got some laundry detergent. I don't mind this one and it's a really good price. I did try and get the other one, which is called um, Clean Laundry Getaway, but I just got the Bloom again. I haven't tried the other one, but it's only $5.50 for two liters this one. So it's pretty cool. I've also got some small parrot Frankie and Friends bird seed for my bird, two kilos for $5.25. So I've got a mixture of Coca-Cola and LA ice this week. So I've got the LA ice for two liters was $2. And the Coca-Cola was $1.92 a bottle. I've also got some of the Golden Circle Apple Mango and Banana Juice. That was on special for $3.50. It's usually at $4.80 a bottle. So I thought that's pretty good. Sometimes we get the daily juice and things like that. But to save a little bit of money, sometimes I get this one. And I think the kids really like this one. It's probably thicker and I just water it down. So I've also got some Gatorade that was on special for $2 a bottle. So I've got the blue bolt one. I've also got the grape one and the orange one. So it's for my husband when he mows the lawns and for my oldest boy to take to school on those really hot climate days. Um, I have bought myself some electrolytes online. I'll show you that when that comes because I find some of the Gatorades can be very sweet and I have to sort of water them down. But I did buy some online the other day. So I'm interested to try trial out that but it hasn't come yet but I when, when it does I will fill you in I've also got some cans of spaghetti um they had a bit of a special on it they were a dollar fifty uh, sorry a dollar seventy five a can which was okay and I got some of the spagsaurus and just the normal spaghetti so three cans of spaghetti and two cans of spagsaurus I got a can of the Heinz Big Eats ravioli. The kids liked this last week. They share it and it's $3.50 a can. It's really expensive for what it is. But, um, you know, at the moment they like it. So we'll see how we go with that. And I've also got some tuna at the back there. I'll just move all them. I've just got three cans of sweet chili. And I've also got three cans of the lemon pepper because the kids just eat this so quickly, um, which is good but it's on special this week for $1.30 instead of $2.60. So 
So, um, yeah, it's, it'll sort of go in three days. So it doesn't matter. But as long as they like it and they're eating it and sometimes they don't, like my oldest boy doesn't really like fish, but he likes tuna. So I'm happy with that. Um, you just got to go with what you can get sometimes. And I've also got some of the olives, just the um, Kalamata olives at the back there. I just want to make some salads and things. Um, they've gone up in price a fair bit, but they are normally $5.20. But these are really nice, these ones. They're 500 grams for $4.15. And just a normal pasta sauce for $2.75. Just to have in the pantry for a quick spaghetti bolognese because my kids my kids don't like spaghetti i don't know what it is but they like it but they just keep saying i cook it all the time which i don't um at the back there i've got some saladas if you can see them i like saladas and they're just so handy to have for anything for tomato cheese or vegemite um they are normally four dollars got them for three dollars for the original ones this week and we're going to take the kids to have a look at the rock pools and things like that on the weekend so i just got these to take up there with us I've just got these cracker biscuits, fig and black olive. I'm going to make some like French onion dip as well, but they are only $2.25 a packet. Um, they are normally $4.50. I'm not sure if the kids will like them, but me and my husband will eat them. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd just get something a little bit luxury for a change. And I've got some Doritos. I've got some Mexicana ones, which my youngest boy won't eat. And I've also got some Cheese Supreme Doritos. They were $2.40 this week on special. That was pretty good. They are usually $4.80, but I wouldn't pay $4.80 for them. But you know, when you can get them on special, it's really, really good. Got some Pringles mini. I just got one bag for $4, the sour cream ones. I'm not sure um, if my kids like the sour cream ones now, but we'll find out. But they are really handy for their lunch bags. Um, I've also got some popcorn. This was only a dollar a packet this week for the triple butter. So I thought that's really good. I probably should have got a few more packets for the school holidays coming up. Um, but, you know, the kids are like that with a movie and they just find it some, like something special, I guess. It is really nice, that one as well. I've got some up and goes for the kids just to sort of um, finish the week, but I only got three. So um, we'll figure it out. But $3.25 this week instead of $6.50, I probably should have got two packets. The SPC Puree Apple Cups I got this week for $3.50. They're still been they're still on special and they've been on special for a while now. They're usually $4.70 a packet. So I just I usually get the mango, but I thought this week I'll just get their apple ones. And I got our normal Cadbury's drinking chocolate. I didn't get Milo this week. It wasn't on special, but the drinking chocolate was $6. I also got some French onion soup mix because I want to make some French onion dip. And I also got another packet just to have in the pantry. And the soup mix is 55 cents a packet. I got the Continental Pasta Sauce for $1.50 instead of $3 this week. And I also got um, uh, the Macro Organic Quick Oats. I do prefer these better than the home brand ones for $2.80 if I can't get the Uncle Toby. So $2.80 for 500 grams. So looking at the bread and things now, I got some butter croissants, $2.85 for four, I'm going to make some um, ham cross-ons for the kids for the weekend. I did want to do it for school, but I don't think they're going to last that long. And our usual a soft white toast that I normally get. I just got two loaves because I found some more in the freezer, which was really handy. So the toast is $2.70 a loaf. And I also got the fruit loaf cafe style this week for $3.75, which is pretty good. Usually $7.50 for the cafe raisin toast. I can't believe that. And I got some hot dog rolls for $2.50 because we're going to be having frankfurts like hot dogs tonight and sauerkraut for a Friday night. I got some eggs this week for $5.40 a carton. And every time I do the online shop, it says to me they're completely out of stock and then they get some more in. So it's whatever sort of eggs they've got in at the time. So I usually get a substitute on my eggs most of the time because I do like to get the free range ones, but it's just hard to get any eggs at the moment. And I've also got lots of fruit and veggies, or not lots, because I've still got, well, I've actually decided to do a fruit and vegetable like shop every week now, but I just got a few because I'm going to do a shop next week um, through the veggie shop. So I've got some mandarines this week and I just got four mandarines. Um, the kids are really liking mandarines and they have them in their lunch all the time or oranges. Mandarines are 47 cents each. The trust tomatoes were a substitute. They are, they are 70 cents, 76 cents each. They've charged me for them. I've also got some potatoes, but I just got two kilos because I still had some in the cupboard. So two kilos of potatoes were $5. Still pretty expensive. I've also got some odd bunch zucchinis for $2.90. 
The avocados were $7.50 for five, and that's just going to be for breakfast purposes and whenever the kids want them or salads. I probably will make like a guacamole over the weekend as well. Um, I've got some ginger here, fresh ginger. They charged me $2.16. I'm going to make my lemon tonic water for the mornings when I get a chance. And I just got a bag of lemons to go with it, and that's $4.10 for the odd bunch lemons. And we've got our normal amount of bananas there, and they're 81 cents each, so they won't last us long. We're going to, I'm going to start getting the fruit and veggie guys to drop off a box of veggies every week now as well, like a mix box, but I'll film that when I get it in. I did used to do that, and I've also forgotten to um, show you the mushrooms because I put them in the fridge. That was $6 for the sliced mushrooms, which wasn't too bad this week. They are normally $7, so I love sliced mushrooms. They're already done for me, and I just put them with some butter in the frying pan. And the strawberries were $2.20 a punnet this week, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to try and make the most of it while I can with the strawberries and the blueberries at the moment. And I did get blueberries as well. And they were $3 a punnet, so they're so cheap at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that I can start getting my veggies and that a little bit cheaper or even just getting more of a mixed box of fruit and veggies for the week for the kids, like melons and things like that. So we'll see how that goes. But I, I did used to do that, and I have got a few hauls of me um, doing that back in the past and I've also got some carrots for two dollars a bag because we we're out of them and I do give them to my guinea pigs regularly and we go through them really quickly now I got these yogurts for the kids and no added sugar they still do have sugar in them but they were just on special so I got blueberry and I got strawberry because they were a dollar 35 for 110 grams so still expensive but just some yogurts to get us through for the week because next week is school holidays here in Queensland. I've also got some olive oil spread. I like the olive oil spread. It's $3.80 for a tub. And I've also just got some butter because my kids are going to make a like a cake this weekend. So they usually make one together and there's usually lots of fights over it. Um, but yeah, the butter is $3.70. I've also got some of the Farmers Union yogurt. The kids really liked this last week. They were putting biscuits with it, like Oreos and all sorts of things. So the tub is $6.50. It is a little bit expensive um, for a kilo, but they really like it. And it's not a really strong bitter taste, so that's all right. And I've also got some light sour cream because I'm going to make the dip. That's $3.25. And I've also got some ham here, just a little bit of ham just to have sandwiches with, so like $4.40 worth of ham there. And we've got footy franks for the hot dogs for tonight's dinner for $5 a packet. We really do like the footy franks, the skinless ones. We prefer them. And also the mulled Hungarian salami for $2.50, which is pretty good, that salami for that price. It's probably one of the cheapest ones you can get. I've got 14 litres of milk this week. I've got a combination of full cream and light milk. And I've also got some custard for the week for the kids, just as something different for them. They haven't had custard for a while. And I just got the $2.85 one, which was a lot cheaper than some of the others. I think it's because maybe it's a light custard. I'm not sure. And for some of our dinner meats this week, I've got a corn silver side for $18.34. I really like corned beef, but my oldest boy won't eat it. So it's really hard when someone in the house doesn't eat it. But I've got that for dinner for the next few nights, which is what I really like about corned beef. And there's no waste on it. I also got some lamb um, midloins. I know the kids will enjoy these. And I got nine of them, and they were $17 something for a pack of them, so which is pretty good. We're going to pop them on the barbecue. And I also got some of these a creamy garlic chicken Kievs for $6 a packet. This just helps us over the weekend because we have that with salad, and we'll have the chops for dinner one night, probably a Sunday night for the chops. We don't usually buy chops, but I don't know. I've just been really feeling like them, especially on the barbecue when they're nice and crunchy. I love it like that. So looking at it here, it looks like I've got so much frozen goods, um, but I'm pretty happy with what I've got too. So it'll it'll just fill up our freezer a bit. So I've got some Buller Crunch ice creams, the orange, mint, and vanilla. That's basically like two servings for our family. Um, they were $4.25, usually $8.50. I've also got Dagwood Dogs. My youngest absolutely loves these for $5.50, and they last him a few rounds after school. So he really likes them. I've also got some of the McCain Super Fries shoestring chips for $4.80. They don't really work out that much cheaper than me going down to the fish and chip shop, to be honest, but they're always good to have in the freezer, especially when the kids just want like some hot chips or something. But, you know, chips have gone up so much now, like everything has. 
I've also got some prep set and go veggies. I got two bags of these because I really enjoy them and they're really good price. So they're like $2.20, sorry, $2.75 a bag. And I've also got my lazy onions is what I call them for $2.70, just the diced onions. I find that such a great combination to have in the freezer with the um, stir fry vegetables for, you know, stir fries in the wok and all that. I also got some chopped spinach to make a spinach pie, or I might even make spinach pies this week with the pie machine. That was 95 cents for the spinach. And I got two bags of steggles this week. I got the sweet chili chicken breast tenders for my oldest boy. Sometimes my youngest boy will eat them if they're not too hot. And I got these. I haven't seen these ones before. These are the Alpha Bites crumbed one steggles for $10.80. So they were both $10.80 for a kilo this week. So I thought that's so good to just put in the freezer and have a bit of a stock up of it. Maybe they'll even last for the school holidays, we'll see. But yeah, I'm happy with having a few freezer meals because and freezer items and things because it just goes gets so low, the freezer nowadays. It's only really got bread in it and these sort of items. So it definitely just needed a restock and a refresh my freezer with some new freezer meals for the kids. So today's shop was $335.41. So once again, it soon adds up um, pretty quickly nowadays. But I am happy with what I got. I do feel like I got a lot more this week than what I do normally on other weeks. But that just happens sometimes too. It sort of depends if you need shampoos and all that sort of thing as well. But I was only just thinking the other day, it's been such a long time since I've actually stocked up my pantry. Like, I'm not sure if any of you still do it out there, but, you know, there was a time when everyone was sort of stocking up and, you know, getting extras for the pantry, which I do get a few extras now and then, but it's been a long time since I've really stocked up the pantry. But is stocking up a thing of the past now because of the rise in prices with groceries? Let me know if you still stock up in the comments below. But I do also think the reason why I haven't been is because I just don't have that extra cash like I used to because now the cash flow is definitely limited with um, just the weekly shopping as well and getting just a couple of extras maybe for the pantry as well. But there's a lot of things that I don't really need to stock up with like I used to, you know, like we don't really need all the flour I used to get and all that sort of thing. But, you know, there's definitely a few things I keep thinking that I wish I would have a bit of a stock up for. You know, I might change that and I might start doing a little bit more stocking up soon. But thanks everyone for watching today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for my next ones. Thanks everyone. Bye.